Provo, Utah. Definitely a lot cooler here than Grand Junction. It's still pretty freaking hot, but it's definitely cooler, like 10 degrees maybe. I got half an hour to get up to the front runner and then that's the commuter rail, take that up to Ogden, Utah and catch a train to Reno from there. Home stretch from here, like one more train and I'm at the job. And uh, I'll be seeing David again. Walking down to the river. It's funny how like 92 feels cool after yesterday. I'm uh, gonna go get clean and then wait for the train this evening. After 10 p.m. now, we got this intermodal going my way. I should be in Reno tomorrow, maybe by 2 or 3 in the afternoon.
I had to bail right in front of the yard office. Not ideal. I should, I'm like not even, I'm trying not even to turn around. Just nothing to see here. Just a guy leaving the property. Well, that was a smoking hot train. We did not even crew change in Elko. Just blew straight through. We stopped about three times the entire trip from Salt Lake, and all of them were like less than like three or four minute stops. Um, that was the right train. It's not even 10 a.m. yet. Uh, David's rolling in. He's on a train from Roseville right now. He was leaving the yard, I think, an hour ago. So he'll be here later this afternoon. Um, all the dudes for the gig I'm working are getting into town. Uh, some of them are flying in, one of them's driving. Uh, <clears throat> and I think we'll all be meeting up this afternoon and supposedly, allegedly, I don't have to work until the 17th. But I won't be surprised if I get wrangled into doing some stuff before then. If not, I'm going downtown where the lights are bright. All right, bye. Sparks, Nevada. Immediately next to Reno. And a great place to be a train bum, really. You got the in and out you got 7-Eleven, you got some other food options and shit over there, the Maverick, and both ends of the yard where you can hop out are really not that far of a walk from each other. So prime in many ways. Uh, I'm waiting for David to get into town. He'll be here at like two or three, and then uh, we're figuring it out from there. Cool. Shout out to the homeboy Hog, who I met uh, up in Dunsmere last summer. He's, he, I forgot he lives here, but he literally just saw me sitting on the street and recognized me and pulled over. Uh, he had his wife in the car, so he couldn't hang out, but good seeing you, man. David uh, ended up getting off downtown in the tunnel in Reno itself. I just got the code to the house uh, for the job. We got a nice house, apparently, apparently a very nice house. And uh, yeah, he's already downtown, so I'm hopping on a bus. He's going to find that same bus. Hop on it with me. And we are going to go from rags to riches, bitches. From rags to riches. Yo. 
from rags to riches. Look at this house we have. Holy mother of dog shit. We're coming up in the world, y'all. Like if Paul was there, like, play basketball and Tubby Jonah Hill comes through and you gotta make him look good for the movie and just let him fucking cross you up and break your fucking ankles. Heading downtown for the day. Pieces of shit. No, they aren't. Yes, they are. My homie's got a longboard. I cannot skateboard. You know, I'm gonna try a longboard. Well, this is where we'll be working all week. Day one, Team Barracuda. How'd that go? <laughs> we made um, 220 breakfast sandwiches couple hundred other sandwiches and they fed me nice pizza well nobody planned on working today but they called us around 2 30 and said they needed help and now we're gonna be working the entire week we didn't think we'd work till Tuesday and it's gonna be a bloodbath a lot of hours and we're both pumped Oh, it wasn't. Feel like you've it looks nice now, but it was definitely not yeah. nice last year. It was. It's well, like that's funny. They renovated the whole thing in a matter of a year. Wow. Well, and they call it the Jay? Yeah. No, no, no. The Jay Resort. It's a vibe. No, I. Dude. That's it. Seven a.m. The first full day of work for Team Barracuda. I'm running on seven hours of sleep in the past two days. Over. What is this? I have an old school Another excellent day for Team Barracuda. And uh, we got a ton done. We made 250 breakfast sandwiches. We made 150 normal sandwiches of three different types. We made 60 turkey clubs. We made shitload of bacon, uh, veggie wraps, PB&Js bunch of random shit um it will increase later in the week <clears throat> apparently i will be going up to the actual golf tournament tomorrow where i will blend like i do it might be kind of fun i hear there's a lot of um overhead it's a pga golf tournament so there's gonna be a bunch of um privileged people there and i am me <laughs> So they're keep, I think they're intentionally keeping me kind of like behind the scenes as much as they can, which is obviously the smart thing to do. And uh, anyway, it should be fun to be there and kind of see the scene. And uh, I think I'm going to be there the entire rest of the week. And 
yeah. Tomorrow things are really gonna get going and then the next two days after that are gonna be rugged. In Reno, Nevada, even the Safeway has gambling. Bro, that was I up
Packing up, getting ready to get out. We're here at the Barracuda Championship in Reno, Nevada. Uh, from here, heading down south, catching a ride with my boss, Jaron here. And uh, we're gonna end up in Flagstaff later and I'm gonna get off. There's a Combat Rail Fans meetup happening this weekend. Plan is be there for that, boogie back to Oregon, get my car and come on back. Over.